like for example, you know, when I started Zappa Play Zappa, you know, I really only considered myself a a pretty decent guitar player, you know, but I, I didn't have like a musical background like the players that were in my dad's band or even the people that are in my band. You know, everybody in my band can read music off the page really well. Uh, I can't. I learn everything by ear. I mean, I can read the notes, but I'm really slow at it, you know. I can do everything by ear much, much faster. So, you know, I don't have uh, extensive background like uh you know with the fundamental knowledge of uh, like if if you were going to come to me and ask me a bunch of questions about music theory i wouldn't be able to tell you the names of everything you know i i can deal with it because i'm you know i understand it intuitively in, in, a, in a sense but everybody else in the band is, is far more knowledgeable about you know explaining it from a theoretical standpoint so but for example one of the things that one of the first things my dad ever showed me on guitar is just this simple little thing, but it's a uh, it's kind of got a little contrary uh, motion kind of sound to it. You got a, a descending thing with a partially ascending thing happening at the same time. Now it's a simple little thing, right? But it has a certain motion to it that. Um, is satisfying to listen to and, and the, from the moment I watched him do it it always stuck in my head and I mean that's you know uh, at least 30 years ago or you know 28 years ago something like that <laughs> so and I've, I've used it in various combinations and things but you know it's Know, it's just a, a little melodic um, pattern that you know uh, has always uh, been something that I've enjoyed. But there was another thing that he he did on the same day that he was showing me that was um, this little uh, yeah. just little fragments of things you know like you go hey let me show you this thing and that's kind of what happened that day you know and, but I've always remembered it because you know it's a cool thing to do it's a little out of tune but uh yes you know uh Angus Young from ACDC I did a, a little recording with him and his brother, Malcolm. And the funny thing was, he's one of the only other guitar players that plays an SG guitar like this. And, uh, you know, my dad played SGs a lot. But when I would see these pictures of Angus Young, I, I'd say, where does he get those big SGs? You know, I mean, they look huge. And then I realized he's like this tall. <laughs> uh, but when I did this recording with him, he, uh, he actually couldn't tune his guitar. He didn't know how to tune his guitar, and, and I was th thinking how weird that was, because he's been playing guitar for so long, and, and that's the one thing he forgot to learn how to do. He, he gave it to his brother to tune it. He's like, I, I just can't, I can't tune my guitar. You know? So, interesting, you know, you can, you can develop a lot of skill, at, even if you can't tune your guitar, apparently.